Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Netgear Nighthawk MR1100 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this device as a modem and connect it to your home router. So it's actually pretty easy and you only need to change a few settings around and then this works great as a modem. I've also found that the signal strength gets a lot better when you connect an Ethernet cable to this device. So as you can see right now, I have 11 devices connected to the Netgear MR1100 and I'm getting one bar of signal. Once we get all these settings configured, you'll see one device connected and then this usually goes up to around three bars and I get really good internet speeds. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is log into the device as an administrator so that we can change some of the settings. So let's go ahead and do that. And if you're not sure how to do that, check the links in the description. I'll have everything down there. So now all we need to do is log in as the administrator. And then once we're in the administration section here, go to settings up in the top left. Once you're in settings, go to setup and then mobile router setup. In here, we're going to turn on IP pass through. Then we're going to turn off the DHCP. And then with Ethernet standby, we're going to change that to disabled. That's all you need to do on this router. So once you're done with that, just go ahead and select apply. And it's going to reboot the router. Now we're ready to plug the Ethernet cable that's connected to our home router into the back of the MR1100. All right, so I have everything connected and I've rebooted everything to ensure that all the settings have taken. And now I'm getting internet from the MR1100 through my home router. The next step is optional, but I highly recommend it because it'll allow you to easily access the administration sections for both your home router and the MR1100. So all you need to do is go into your home router's administration section and find the settings to change the IP address for the router. All you need to do is change it to this, 192.168, Dot zero dot one. And then that'll be the IP address you use to access your home router's administration section. No changes need to be made on the MR1100. You'll access that through the same way you've always done. But if you do this on your home router, then you'll be able to access both and change the settings on both. It's very easy to do that. I'm not going to get into how to do that because each router will be different. But if you're using a Netgear AC1750, it's going to be under Advanced, then Setup, and LAN Setup. All right, so real quick, let's go ahead and do a speed test. So in my opinion, this is pretty good for LTE and it's gonna work great with my home router. One more tip if you do plan to use the MR1100 full-time as your modem for your home router, go ahead and remove the battery. You may have to change the charging device for the MR1100, but it's recommended from Netgear to remove the battery to extend the life of the battery. So that's just something to think about if you're going to do that. So that's how you use the Netgear Nighthawk MR1100 as a modem for your home router. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more MR11 tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.